Nine Chronicles is a free-to-play blockchain MMO RPG powered by the players. The game is a 100% decentralized fantasy world and is the first game based on Leap Planet, a new distributed ledger technology library for implementing peer-to-peer -peer MMO games. The game world doesn't depend on the company. Since it's not based on a central server that hosts it, but on the computer of the users, it can exist as long as there are players. Right now it's still in a sort of beta, but it's said that it will be open sourced and fully moddable in the near future. The game uses NGC, 9 Chronicles Gold, as the only currency. Right now the only way of obtaining this is mining and trading with other players. In the pre-release, around November 2020, limited coins were available to be bought for real cash, and they sold out quite fast. In the near future, there will be a way to quickly convert their NGC to other currencies. Right now, you can only do this by trading directly with other player. Luckily, the mods are always open to act as a middleman, so it's at least safe, even if it's not convenient. The current rate is somewhere around 100 to 150 NGC for a dollar. To mine, you just need the launcher on. It only uses a part of one core, so you shouldn't fill it on any good computer. But if you don't have something really fast, don't expect to gain much. You get 10 NGC per blocked mine. You can mine the same block as someone else, and only one of you will receive the credit for it. It's called reorg, and it happens all the time, so it's normal. And it's annoying. The game is mostly an idle one. For now, there is only one class available, the warrior, and the gear is the only customization you can make. No skills or assignable stats when you level up, as you would expect in an RPG. It uses an energy system, so you can't really fill all your day with it. This is made to prevent the market from being flooded by items. The energy fully refills the same for all players, when enough blocks have been mined. And it takes around 6 hours. For the moment, there's not that much to be done in the game. You can fight monsters in the campaign, to gain experience to level up, gain regions for crafting and unlock crafting recipes. Fight other players in the arena to gain food regions for single-use buffs. Craft items at the blacksmith that you can upgrade, wear or sell to other players. Buy and sell crafted items on the market. All the items there are made by players. Fight in the elemental dungeon. For now there is only a fire-based one and it gives special regions for crafting. In other words, you can just log in and let your character do some levels while you do something else on the computer. You can, however, spend a lot of time if you wish on crafting and trading. All the fights are auto-played and you can only change your gear setup and add some buffs. They are in the form of food and from there you can only watch it. The game advances or retries a failed map so you can simply let it play in the background. You don't get gold but you gain crafting resources from each fight and you unlock crafting recipes after you defeat specific levels. Fighting players uses a different form of energy and you gain special regions that can be crafted into single-use food that buffs your attributes. Advancing in rating only gives you more regions, there are no other benefits at the end of the arena week for now. At the blacksmith you can craft wearable items, food and you can upgrade gear. Gear upgrading requires a ton of the same quality gear and this seems to be the main cash dump in the game. It goes in powers of 2. For the first upgrade you need 2 items, then 4, 8, 16, getting to crazy numbers quite fast. Crafting has timers based on the number of blocks required to be found in the network. Trading. Here you can sell what you crafted for whatever amount of gold you consider, not lower than 10 NGC. There is a commission of 8% for each trade. All the items in the market are created and sold by players. Wearing items has no level requirements, so if you got the gold, you can buy and wear the best gear from the moment you start the game. For now, the market is quite basic and takes a lot of clicks to navigate since there are no advanced filters. The good. Free to play, blockchain technology, can earn real cash from it, cute graphics even if the content is limited and simple, almost infinite grinding and gear upgrading, open source and free to use the assets to make your own game, which is not yet available, the economy is driven by the players, developers seem to listen to the community and are quite active on Discord. The bad, not much actual gameplay, you can only spectate the battles. Kind of the slowest loading game I ever played, and it loads after everything too. Not stream friendly, especially because of the loading times. The content is quite limited. It constantly disconnects, gets out of sync, but it seems to get better with each update. You sometimes have to clean cache or even restart your computer to be able to play. The graphics and the cat team is cute, but it might not appeal to everyone. The market is very basic. It can be considered pay to win, or might win if you have the hardware, but there is no paywall, so you can reach everything for free. 
most of the blocks you mine are orphaned, already sold and you get no reward. Since the game revolves around the users, all the aspects should improve when the player base gets bigger. A big boom might happen soon when the game will be available on Steam so you can get a head start now. There will be no wipe in the future so all you gain is yours to keep or trade. The value of the coins should increase in the future and it's possible that other games might use it too. Even with all the bad aspects, I still find it fun and interesting to explore and the fact that it is free and that you can cash out if you get bored should be enough to give it a try. If you don't have an account already, join the game using my referral code and we both earn some NGC. See you in the game.